Hello everyone, I am Charlie Tolhurst and welcome to um, a little bit of a motorsport news roundup um, for my YouTube video today. I just want to quickly talk about some motorsport news that's been happening um, over the last um, few days. Now, of course, last week it was confirmed that Romain Grosjean will be joining IndyCar and um, Dale and um, Conte Racing um, for uh, 2021. Uh, Grosjean will race um, in IndyCar um, however, though, it will only be racing on the road and street courses. He will not be racing on the oval circuits. Of course, that's the likes of the Indianapolis uh, 500. He will not be competing in that event. He is signing, though, to just race on the road and street courses. So, um, Romain Grosjean, after suffering a terrifying crash during last year's Bahrain Grand Prix, where his has to be F20 literally burst into flames, he is going to be making um, his um, racing comeback. Um, at um, an IndyCar this year, which will be a fantastic news to hear. I know a lot of people are looking forward to that. Now, we also have some news as well from Mercedes. Um, big news out of this, uh, news that a lot of people have been waiting for over the last few weeks. It's been confirmed that Lewis Hamilton has signed a one-year contract um, with Mercedes. He signed the contract. It's until the end of the 2021 season. Hamilton is going for his eighth World Championship this year. If he wins that, that'll be a new record in Formula 1, and also the first Formula 1 driver potentially to go over 100 race wins into the triple digits. So look out for Lewis Hamilton um, come 2021. Mercedes are unveiling their car, um, their W12, in a few weeks' time, um, and that should be at Silverstone. So I can't wait to see um, exactly what's happening with that. But yes, Lewis Hamilton will be staying on at Mercedes for another season. And also, in some very huge breaking news in the last week, um, if you've heard of the driver one Manuel Correa, um, he used to be an F2 driver. Um, and if you know the 2019 um, Belgian uh, F2 feature race, he had suffered a massive life-threatening crash. Um, and that was also the crash that also fatefully, sadly, killed Antoine Hubert um, after his car um, flipped over and Correa got, literally got hit from the side um, on the top of Radion. Um, and Correa had spent all of last year... Um, in rehabilitation, recovering um, after breaking a couple of his bones. However, though, Correa is fit again and he will be racing for ART in Formula 3 in 2021. He is going to be racing in Formula 3. Um, and, of course, ART Grand Prix are actually race winners in Formula 3 and Formula 2 as well. So, I can't wait to see one Manuel Correa back in a single seater. This is going to be a, a huge comeback, again, like Romain Grosjean. This comeback is something that a lot of people were not expecting to happen. I thought Correa was going to retire, but the Ecuadorian American racer is going to be returning for um, to motor racing this year, which will be a fantastic addition. I really hope we get to see the best of one Manuel Correa in 2021. I know he's going to be in Formula 3, but the hope is, is that he can be in one day in an F1 car. Uh, but of course, uh, one Manuel Correa will be going back um, into single seater racing, which is fantastic news to hear um, as well. So we'll keep you posted on that news as we get it. Um, and that is it really for this uh, motorsport news roundup. I, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'd love to hear what your opinions are, and I'll keep you updated of all the latest news from motorsport over the next few weeks. Take care, everyone. Stay safe.